Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to create this section, this three folds section, interactive section, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm gonna be teaching you how to do that. One thing I do wanna mention is I have my baby in the back. So if you do hear him screaming or crying, just ignore that. Okay, so in this particular section, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating an animation. So we have three sections called the native fox, the Bengal tiger, the African elephant. If you hover over it, as you can see, you have some description coming up. If you hover over the other one, you have the image changing and then you have obviously the card details coming up and then for the African element you have something else. Similarly you can just basically go around and move left and right and this is a section that one of my YouTube viewers, hopefully he's a subscriber, actually asked me to create and wanted to get his help on. So I'm going to go ahead and actually create that and I'm going to let you know some of the nuances as to do something like this. Okay so I already have this created, I'm basically just going to go ahead and delete everything and I'm going to do this from scratch. The first thing that you need to do is obviously you need to create the box that's gonna be there, which is gonna have some text within it. So I'm gonna create this box with a width of 500 pixels and a height of 400. Let's just give it a, uh, a, a black background that's gonna dim the opacity, that, that has a dimmed opacity that's gonna dim the background that's gonna be behind it. So we're gonna have the native fox here. Let's just give it a slightly larger text, maybe 32 is gonna be fine, or slightly smaller, maybe 24. Then we're gonna have some uh, lorem ipsum here. Let's just press Command P, so search for lorem ipsum, generate some text, reduce the font size to maybe something called like 18. Um, let's just go ahead and do that, and let's just go ahead and actually just make this three lines. Okay, so I think this is pretty okay. Now let's just go ahead and actually add a view more button. One thing that I also wanna do is I wanna add, make this basically an auto layout. So let's just make it an auto layout. Also again, give this width a 500, give this a height of 400. Let's just align these two things and have a spacing of 12 in between the text and all of that, and then have this basically auto. So the button size can be whatever. So I'm just going to go through this quickly. I'm not gonna be too specific about the sizes or anything. You can obviously figure that out yourself. I'm gonna have, an, have a stroke and the stroke is gonna be 0.5. Similarly, I'm gonna create an arrow inside of it. So here's the arrow. Let's just give this a stroke of 1.5. And actually, I, instead of creating a frame, I actually drew an ellipse which is also fine, but ideally what you wanna do is anytime you wanna create a rounded circle like that, you can basically just give a larger border radius and then just do it like this as well. So I'm gonna delete the ellipse. I'm gonna make the 0.5 stroke and for the arrow, let's just make it white. So here is our icon. I think let's just go ahead and actually reduce the size of it slightly. And then we have some text view more create a frame around this. So this is our view more button. Let's just expand this a bit. Here's our text, 16 pixel spacing. So I think this is pretty much okay. So this is gonna be our box component. I'm gonna turn this into a <coughs> component, and rename this to title, this is description. And I think that's pretty much it. Now I wanna add another property to it. I'm gonna say I wanna add another variant. Uh, the variant is gonna be basically the hover state for this. I am basically just gonna duplicate this, place it on the right. I'm gonna say this is gonna be hover. This one is default. The property name is state. And in this particular state, we're just basically gonna bring things up, up a bit. So here we wanna go ahead and clip content. Here we also wanna go ahead and clip content. And I think that is pretty much it. So in order to see how this is looking, first of all, obviously we need to link it. I'm gonna say I wanna while hovering, you should go to this. And let's just go ahead and actually see how this looks. So I'm gonna include it in a frame so I can actually see it. If you're hovering over it, it looks like this, which I think is good. One thing that I do wanna do is I wanna move the description slightly a bit at the bottom. So I'm just gonna increase this auto layout spacing a bit. So now as you can see, it's coming from down and it's going up and it looks good and the view more is actually being clicked, clipped off by the uh, container that we have for the view more button. So I think this is pretty much okay. 
Now we're gonna go ahead, we're just gonna, let me just go ahead and actually remove that, select one of them, create another container around it, and basically just make this an auto layout. This container and auto layout, this is gonna be our section. So I'm gonna have three boxes within it, and obviously they're gonna be spanning on the right, and the spacing between these boxes is gonna be zero. Uh, one was native fox, in this case, we wanna change this to, I don't know, the African, sorry, the Bengal tiger, and then the African ele elephant, elephant, and let's just change this to native fox capital. Okay, so this is our section that we actually want animated. Hopefully you should be able to see it like this. As you can see, this works really well now. Our boxes are done. Now we basically just need to add an image and have these interactions. So I'm gonna go to Unsplash. I'm gonna search for Fox, which is the animation, which is the background that I want in the initial instance. Let's just have this one. And obviously you can choose your backgrounds yourself. You can have them as whatever you want. I'm gonna go to crop and I'm basically just gonna move this slightly above. So this is our Fox. Uh, I can't really see the whole Fox, so I don't really like it. Maybe let's just try this one. I think this one is slightly better. I'm just gonna go to crop and just gonna move this at the bottom. So here is our Fox and let's just go ahead now and create a component for this as well. So I'm gonna say this is gonna be our component and the name of this component is gonna be section uh, or three, whatever, interactive section. Obviously the component name that doesn't really matter. Now I'm gonna create some new variants. I'm actually gonna make this whole thing a component as a lot of you may know. I just do this to easily position some of the variants inside uh, with equal spacing. So now I'm gonna go here and this is gonna be for our uh, Bengal tiger. So I'm gonna search for tiger and let's just have an image of a tiger here. Um, a wide image maybe, something like this maybe. Yeah, I think that looks good. And for the elephant, I'm gonna select the last one and have the elephant here. I think maybe this is probably gonna be okay. So this is pretty much done. This is exactly what I needed. Now, if I, let's say, go here and just move this outside, add this in a frame, this is gonna be our animation. And I'm gonna press R. So as you can see, everything's working fine. This looks pretty okay. One thing we can, we can also do is we can actually add a stroke to the left. So I can say that there can be a stroke on the boxes on the left. So stroke can be white and it can be actually reduced in opacity, 20% opacity and this is how it looks. I think this is looking good. Now we need to change the images, obviously. One thing that I actually wanted to point out was, uh, and I actually tried it before, if I go here, I'm gonna select the, uh, the first section. I'm gonna go to uh, this first box within the section. I'm gonna go if you, obviously we don't need any animation because by default it's the, box, it's the first box, but if we go to the second one, I'm gonna say, if I hover over the second one, so while hovering, while hovering the second one, it should go to the Bengal tiger, and while hovering the third one, it should go to the elephant. So now if we have a look at it, let me just refresh. So hopefully again, the elephant is not coming because I did not change it to while hovering, so I'm gonna do that. So now it should come, hopefully. So now as you can see, we have the African elephant, we have the Bengal tiger, we have the native fox. Bengal tiger, African element, elephant. So that's pretty much how you actually do something like this. One other thing that we act, I actually wanted to do was the stroke actually should just be on the left and not up, up and down or right or whatever. And then we can go ahead and actually remove the stroke on the first element. But one problem with this particular approach, the way that I've done this is when you're actually when you actually have a hover trigger. Um, if you don't give it time to actually, for example, if I'm going to the Bengal tiger, I'm actually hovering up. If you don't give it that time, then some of the animations are chained. So Bengal tiger, African elephant, that all looks good, right? But now if I just start doing this, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and if I go up, up, as you can see, all of these effects are chained now, which looks really weird. This is not something that we actually want. So in order to fix this, we actually have to remove the hover transitions that we have here because they don't work as expected. Instead, we actually want 
Uh, and let me just give some more spacing in between here, maybe 200 so we can see all of the interactions. Instead, what we want to do is, if we mouse enter on the Bengal tiger, I want you to go to the Bengal tiger. Similarly here, if I mouse over the Bengal tiger, I want you to go to the Bengal tiger, so mouse enter, that's fine. For the African element elephant, we want to do the same. African elephant, mouse enter. Similarly here, African elephant, mouse enter. Uh, and for the native fox, we want to do the same thing here. Uh, we want to do mouse enter and similarly here, we want to do mouse enter. So that's pretty much what we have to do. I think this should work now. So if we go to the native fox, that's working fine. If we go to the Bengal tiger, that's working fine. If we go to the elephant, that's working fine as well. If we do this left and right, left and right, everything's working fine. One thing that has obviously changed here is the last element that you were hovering over to is actually gonna remain. So that's the only thing that has changed. But if you want everything to actually revert back all the time to the native fox, then you can obviously enter a mouse leave uh, interaction to the elements as well. So, I mean, that's completely up to you, but I think it's actually fine to have the last thing that's, uh, have the last thing that you were hovering over to visible in front of you. So I think this is fine. This looks fine. Everything's looking good. And that's pretty much what I wanted to show or demo for this particular video. I also want to reduce the opacity on the description, maybe change it to 80%. So it's slightly light. I think this looks good. One other thing that I wanna highlight is the animation for this particular uh, circle. Uh, I wanna actually have an animation that when you hover over it, uh, I want this uh, item to actually animate. So instead what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna have, this is our arrow one, I'm gonna duplicate it. I'm gonna say we have another arrow that's actually gonna be on the left. So I have an arrow here and then I have an arrow here. So what I wanna do now is, I'm basically just gonna go ahead and grab the circle, I'm gonna copy it, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna replace this circle with it, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab both of these arrows and I'm actually gonna move them here. And obviously I'm gonna clip this so it's not visible. Similarly, I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna clip it as well. And now if we have a look at this animation, nothing is happening. And one of the reason why nothing is happening is let me just actually close the animation and open it again. It should ideally work. <laughs> it's not working, okay. It's not working because this is frame three and this is frame four. All of the names need to be very similar. So this is gonna be our arrow circle. I'm just gonna change this frame name. Similarly, this is gonna be our arrow circle. Now it should hopefully work. So this is our animation. I'm just gonna add a prototype flow starting point. So I can see it. Actually, let's just close it and open it again. Close it, open it. Okay, so now if we hover over it, as you can see, we have the arrows animating and that looks good. So again, arrows animating as well arrows are animating. If you want the arrows to animate really fast, then obviously it's much easier. You can basically just move the arrows way on the side. So I'm gonna move this arrow one way on the right, and I'm gonna go to this initial, initial arrow, and I'm gonna move the arrow to way on the left. So the animation is obviously gonna be much faster. So as you can see, now the arrow animates much faster. And if you want, you can obviously have your own animation for the arrow itself as a component and a variant. But I think this is pretty much what the viewer or my subscriber actually wanted me to demonstrate. And this is pretty much it. Let me know if you found this useful, if I was going too fast. I know I was going too fast because obviously my baby's crying in the back and I don't want this video to go too long. So that's pretty much it. Do let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye. Do subscribe and do hit the bell icon.